So a good place to find blood worms. This is gonna be a quick video since I haven't posted anything over a week because it's been hot and I just been busy. Sorry guys, but when I'm not lazy and the tide is really low around a full moon, just come to a rocky beach where there's a lot of seaweed and rocks, you get these guys, these little blood worms. And all you have to do, they look like sand, they look like uh, earthworms, but these guys are blood worms. These are good for porgies, these are good for spots. I'm sorry if I wasn't showing it too good. And all you do is just go to a rock like this, lift it up, and sometimes you see them. Here's another one. I mean, the blood worms are small, but you know how much these guys cost a dozen? I'm just doing this for fun right now to waste time because I'm not catching fish and it's very hot. It's this. Let's see what this guy has. Uh, what do we got? Nothing. No wonder they're expensive. This could take forever. I mean, I only got like three. There's just a couple of more. There's another blood worm. If quick, man. That was a nice size one too. There's a sandworm. You see? Just come to the rocks, turn them over. That's a sandworm. But you gotta work for them, that's the problem. It's easy just to go to bait store. Hey, uh, you have a dozen sandworms? Yeah, how much? Eight bucks. Okay, give them to me. Well, you can come here and do this. any local beach that has rocks like this, conditions like this, tidal pools, rocks, a lot of seaweed that just gathers. That's where you'll find your worms, your crabs. So I wanted to show you guys that real quick. I'll come here for fluke occasionally. Although you really need your waders to just wait out. But I'd just rather come here in the fall for striped bass. I'll start showing that too. But it's a good place to come for bait if you don't want to pay for worms or crabs, and you're willing to put the time in, this is where you'll get them. Alright. I'm going to head over to my usual spot, which is all the way down there. Great kills. And try to catch some fluke. You know what? It's getting hot. I don't know. I don't know if I want to be a wuss and go home or just brave the heat today and catch some fluke. Let's brave the heat today and catch some fluke. Okay. By the way, it's uh, Saturday, July 16th. It's about noon time. So what do you guys think? Chartreuse or Pearl White? What's going to win?
going after the top. So much easier when you crush the barbs, man. Trust me. Cool. Thanks for not letting me get skunked here in the heat. That just goes by like information that I guess subscribers put in when they first sign up. Age, male, female, location, you know, stuff like that. Which leads me to my next question. How did you guys find my channel? Through what avenue? I'm curious. There's another fish, man. See, I foul hooked him. Shorty. Yeah, how'd you find my channel? Through what avenue? Through which search? Was it a related video? Was it a search? I'm just curious. Leave me a comment. This just got way too hot. I'm gonna beat it. It's just getting uncomfortable. And I can't fish that way. So too fluke. That's not so bad. On the uh, four inch gulp mullet, the swimming mullet. And I'm just gonna go home. Take a nice cold shower. And we'll try another day. So, thanks for watching.